get it. The case of the vanishing end. Hey, uh, what if the watchman hears it rolling? Not with his radio up so loud. <laughs> Oh, this is terrific, the whole thing. So far, we better get out of here. Hey, Biff! Squeak only told us a couple of days ago. And what did you think? The same as you, but Squeak never lets up. No, he's amazing. Especially if he wants something. <laughs> There's really a place you can hide a thing that size. For the time being, gives you torch. And I'm not allowed to know. Oh, look, Tim, if anything goes wrong, just give us a clue. <sighs> better not. After all the sweat I put in? Tim, if Bert's back finds out we've pinched his engine... It's not his engine. But this is his property. You're scared? A little bit. Not too much. Look, you don't know what he's like. Oh, yes, I do. He's just a grown-up version of his son. Georgie, he's always acting. Daddy doesn't have to. Mm. You see anything? No. Hang on. So long as we're back in town when the pictures get out. And that's our alibi. No joke. So, I'm feeling good. So am I. So where are they going? Squeak and Bugsy. Squeak and Bugsy and Wombat. Sounds like a bunch of gangsters. The engine gang, right. <laughs> One clue only. Down among the spooks. Spooks? Down among the spooks. Get it? Why don't you just tell me? Tim, you've only got to look at a map. But don't let anyone in on it at all. Promise? No one. Okay. They mustn't even know we've got the engine out of here. It'll spoil the next thing Squeak's gonna do. I mean, he's actually gonna drive it. Oh, he'd love to, but he doesn't know how. There's only one bloke in Winter Wadri who does. Well, what happens with Wombat next then? Uh-uh. No clues. Is your aunt picking you up? Proof of dollars. I'll need a lift home. Come on. Coffee, please, Peter. Huh? Your hands, they're filthy. Oh, are they? You too, Biff. Oh, we had to help someone. <laughs> Doing what, for heaven's sake? To get their vehicle started. Oh. Jess, we can give Biff a lift home, can't we? Thank you, Peter. Didn't your sister give you a lift in? She left early. Tell her I'll pick her up about 7.30 tomorrow night for the dance. I can't get away from here much before then. OK, I'll be coming too. <laughs> well, that's going to cramp my style. They're seeing a lot of each other. Fair bit. Mm. What's your mother think of that? I don't know. Why don't you ask her? None of my business, I suppose. Well, let's get this down. Got to have an early night. I have to be on my toes to beat Bert's back tomorrow. Good morning. Oh, good day, Tim. Sleep better this time? Like a log. No bad dreams. Great. Well, officially breakfast is over, but there's bacon in the fridge. Eggs. Help yourself. Your aunt reckons you're up to something with those Hulahan kids. Oh? But she's not going to ask what it is. Trusting you to use your head. Are you asking, Pa? Well, I take the view that you'd tell us if it mattered. Well, it does. But you're not at liberty to say. Not yet. Oh, fair enough. I must admit I'm dying to know, though. What's that you're writing? Just a few smart remarks to make at this meeting today. Someone visiting? Yeah, Don Arblaster. How can you tell? <laughs> Sound of his motor. I've heard it often enough. Yes. Well, if those Houlihan girls are in the act, I guess whatever you're up to can't be too stupid. Forsyth? Yeah, but make it short, will you? He's cooking. Squeak Houlihan. Come in, Don. Good day. Good day. Okay, Squeak. Yes. Tom, for you. Yeah, fine. Uh, well, brought good news, have you? No, not yet. No. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping by now you might be a father, so to speak. 
Now she settled down again, oh. wouldn't you know? Hello, Don. Got your prize calf yet? No, Jezebel's decided to take a breather. Ah, oh, good. You'll be able to make the meeting. Meeting? Hmm. Yeah, well, if nothing comes up at home, you know. I was more worried about the dance tonight. Blow the dance, Donald. We've got to save the railway today at the meeting this Excuse afternoon. Me. If we don't get enough I'm supporters, just... we'll lose the vote and Wombat's gone forever after the scrapyard. Yes, what? Uh, Screet wants to know if you're going into town this morning. Well, what's it look like? 15 minutes if he wants a lift? Make it 20. Rip Van Winkle's got to eat. <laughs> What you blokes are up to? I'm not too sure myself. Just don't bring me any trouble, eh? I've got enough on my plate. And don't you dare miss that meeting. What I say, Lady. Yes. Yes, I've got all that. Yes. Oh, when will he be there? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, certainly. Oh, thanks. Goodbye. Good night, Potsy. Oh. Tell me something that's new and exciting. Eh? That was the Winnawadgery Lawn Bowls Club. They'd, their secretary's retiring and they'd like a nice para and a pick. Well, there could be something coming up later on today. Oh, yeah, the railway meeting. <laughs> I've been lost without that. Now, what can I do for you two? Well, we wondered whether you'd have any photos of Wombat. Well, what do you think I printed that from? Yeah, but we bangers would fan them. Yeah, there was one. About this time last year. Oh, not when you were sacked. When he was looking good. On the, On engine? the engine? Beside the engine? Yeah, anything like that. Yeah. You know, I was thinking about doing a piece on Harold Angus. There you are. Great. Thanks a lot. Human interest stuff, plus whatever comes up this afternoon. How's your Aunt Jess? I suppose she's worried about everyone heading towards the football this afternoon. Yeah, she's answering a round up. Do you mind if I people. borrow these? Why? Oh, just to show someone. Well, they're boomerangs. I need them back this out today. Yeah, you'll get them back. Come Make on, sure mate. you do. We too. Hey, Potts. How'd the photos turn out? Photos? My new truck. Oh, yes, your truck. Yes, I've got a set of contact prints. Ah, oh, give us a look. I'll choose the best. Now, listen. You're not running any stuff on that engine, are you? It's going to be news whichever way it turns out. That's railways getting the chop this afternoon. That's the past. This is the future. And it's your duty to help this district move ahead. I'll decide what this newspaper's got to say, thanks. You still want my advertising, don't you? Getting a bit tricky to show my face around this town. Yeah. Didn't sound like he'd found his engine missing. Yet. Boy, when he does. <laughs> <laughs> 